Hi, my name is Henry Sagerman. These are all of the prime knots with up to seven crossings. These are designed by Jason Cantarella, or rather he wrote a computer program to generate these shapes of knots. So a mathematical knot is just like an ordinary knot in a piece of string, except that the ends have been fused together to form a loop. Um, and the reason that mathematicians are interested in this rather than knots uh, just in pieces of string that aren't closed up uh, is that if you have such a, a knot in a piece of string, then in principle you can always undo it. You just thread the knot back through, uh, or you thread the string back through the knot and you undo anything that you want. Whereas if it's closed up, then it looks like uh, if you tie a knot and then close the, the string, um, then this is a, a real object that can't be undone just by, by moving it around. But what would undone mean? Um, so undoing a, a knot in a closed loop, that would mean you have something that looks like it's tied up in some complicated way but actually you can undo it and get just a circle. Now what does prime mean? So a prime knot is a knot that can't be de decomposed in a certain way. You build up a, a, a composite knot, that's not a prime knot, by uh, adding together two knots using something called a connect sum. And so this is what it looks like. Here are two uh, trefoil knots and then I can form the connect sum and I get something that's, well, it's the connect sum of two trefoil knots. This is really sort of made out of these simpler pieces. These are the prime knots that you can't make up out of smaller knots. So what are the different layers here, the different levels? So uh, knots are classified by how many crossings they have, uh, or the, rather the minimal number of crossings they can have in any picture. So this is uh, the trefoil, so this is the, the only knot that can be made, uh, that can be drawn with precisely three crossings minimally. Um, this is the, uh, the figure eight knot, um, it's the only knot that can be drawn with precisely four crossings. And um, I should mention, it looks on this way, that uh, this direction that we're looking at it, that there are uh, five crossings. There's actually a more efficient way to, to draw this on a piece of paper, um, but uh, that doesn't quite work out with uh, these configurations of the knots. There are two knots with minimally five crossings, three with six, and seven with uh, seven crossings. And as the number of crossings goes up, the, uh, the number of knots that you can make goes up uh, exponentially. What are these shapes? So these are minimal rope length knots. So what's that about? So, so this is uh, the trefoil again, um, but sort of uh, uh, printed in a different style. So this is a minimal rope length. So what does that mean? So this is the tightest knot that you can uh, tie, or the tightest way you could, that you can tie a trefoil. It uses the least length of knot um, for a given uh, diameter of, uh, of the knot that's not allowed to intersect itself. And this down here, so this is exactly the same thing, except that the radius of the, uh, of the knot is half the size of, of what it is here, which means you can actually see what's going on. So these are all of the prime knots with up to seven crossings uh, drawn in minimal, or at least very near to minimal, by computer search uh, configurations uh, by Jason Cantarella.